<laughs> shows first <laughs> hit his set to open next year. You can watch the entire video on our website, krqe.com. Mm. You know, we, we could do that for News Inc. Instead oh. of boom, 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 it could be News, News, News. Yeah, <laughs> totally. If I weren't so offbeat, it mm -hmm. would be great. Yeah, then yeah. you guys would be doing this, and I'd be doing this, and it would, <laughs> would be very ugly. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. We do have a radar outage in the metro. Good timing. But we have turned on the lightning tracker here, so this will give you a basic idea of where we're firing storms, mainly across the north and western sections. Most of what we've seen here in the metro area has been out on the west side, and that continues to work its way on out. So here's a look over essentially the southern San Juans. We still have some storms here and flood advisories in effect. San Juan County south of Farmington as well, picking up some storms too. Meanwhile, in the metro, relatively quiet, but you can see out on the West Mesa and areas farther west than there, we are seeing some more storms as well, but nothing right over the metro right now. We could grab a storm tonight. Better chances for us, though, late tonight, really, and into tomorrow. Across the south and east, radars here are working from Midland, and you can see we've got storms coming up from Carlsbad and down into Loving as well, and a few more over Artesia, and we could see some of these skirt their way into Hagerman here over the next few hours. Sacramento Mountains are picking up some storms as well. Places like Rudoso are getting a bit wet right now, and as you get around to Cloudcroft, we're seeing some storms there too. Meanwhile, farther to the boot heel, we have storms here essentially throughout Hidalgo County, and they're sitting well south of Lordsburg. So some action today, much more on the way throughout the weekend. And we'll get to details on that in just one second. It's 88 in the metro. Winds out of the south, five miles an hour, plenty of moisture in the atmosphere for us this weekend. 70s and 80s across the north, anywhere from the 70s in Rudoso all the way up to the 90s around Alamogordo here. And what we've got going on is a weather disturbance that continues to sit over the southern part of the state. And this thing's been interesting. We've been watching it for a few days and talking about it for a few days as well. Well, what it's going to do over the weekend here is continue to sort of slide around the state. And a few more weather disturbances will come up from old Mexico. So what that's going to do for us is we grab a couple disturbances over the top of a lot of moisture, and that rings out more storms. So that's why the western half of the state is really favored to do pretty well. Well for storms here. So we have the monsoon flow in place, weather disturbances across the west. That draws the air up into the atmosphere, rings out storms. So the monsoon flow and the low pressure, at least little series of lows, are going to lead to some heavy rain across the west here. And as far as our targets go, what are the areas that you should really watch? I think the Gila is going to be a real concern as we head through the next couple of days here. That's the real bullseye point. Meanwhile, we could also see some more storms around the four corners that could lead to flooding. That does include the Durango and Farmington areas, obviously. And then over the northern mountains as well, once you increase that elevation, you can ring out some more pretty rough storms as well. So those are the three main areas we're going to keep an eye on. Metro, we're going to be close enough to some of these storms that we're going to have to watch out as well. We could get wet over the weekend as well. Plenty of storms across the four corners, and that continues over the next couple of days. But then you can see as we head in toward next week, we start to dry out. South and west, you guys are the bullseye point for storms for tomorrow. 70s and 80s rain, and it will be heavy at times. South and east, a little too far east to pick up a whole lot in the way of consistent storms tomorrow. But still, isolated storms possible. And if you're under a pretty strong storm, you could well have a flood advisory if that storm sits over you long enough. We're also going to see those temperatures really skyrocket into next week. As you can see, triple-digit stuff across southeastern New Mexico. North and east spot storms here. You two will not be in the middle of the action, but the northern mountains will have a better chance at some pretty consistent storms here as well by tomorrow afternoon. Santa Fe scattered to numerous storms as well. East mountains scattered storms here for tomorrow and temperatures for the most part in the 80s. And finally, right here in the metro area, our temps will top out tomorrow right in the low 90s, high 80s, depending on where you are. And scattered storms, a pretty good bet here as well. Next couple of days is our shot to get wet again. So another relatively wet weekend. You're going to make up some more ground precip-wise. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next. Live. Love. Rock. Play. When you put everything you've got into it, have the accolades to prove it, the only thing left to do is share it. The Ram Tint Event. Drive one without a payment for 60 days. And if it doesn't do everything you ask it to do, bring it back. Ram. Or in lieu of 60.